Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So, long-time followers of this channel know that I'm obsessed with smartphone processors. Actually, just processors in general. And therefore, when we had some rumors about Google's new Whitechapel processor, I knew we had to make a video about this. Let's get started. So first of all, I've divided this video into three parts. The first one is what is the Whitechapel processor? The second one is why the Whitechapel processor? And the third one is why now specifically? First of all, what is the Whitechapel processor? There is a link from Axios in the description right next to that like button, which basically says back in April, Google is working on a Whitechapel processor. There are three important factors in the link. The first one is that it is a five nanometer processor meaning that next year, every flagship processor that comes out is definitely going to be 5 nanometer, and definitely this processor is coming out next year. Not only is it a 5 nanometer processor, but it's also built by Samsung, and you know Samsung builds great stuff. Second of all, it is an 8-core ARM processor. That's ARM Holdings recently acquired by NVIDIA. Anyway, it's an 8-core processor plus additional co-processors for Google's machine learning, image signal processing, and of course, Google Assistant. Third of all, this is just the beginning. Google is also going to be rolling out this processor for Chromebooks, and I know all of you guys really love Chromebooks. The second part of this video is why, right? The simple answer is efficiency. When you're building your own processors, you can have better performance for less money, and all of these companies are about making money. Two quarterly reports for you. The first one is Samsung, Q3 earnings 2020, and you have three important highlights. The first one is that Samsung, most of their revenue came in from smartphones, semiconductors, and home appliances. Obviously, you know why home appliances and smartphones, but semiconductors or chips is the interesting bit here. Second of all, their overall sales grew by 8%. That's not too bad given the current scenario. However, third of all, their overall operating profit grew by 59%. Now, I don't care who you are, if you're growing your profit by around 59%, you're obviously doing something right. And that something right is the fact that Samsung is manufacturing their own chipsets. Second quarterly earnings here is from Q3 2020 of Alphabet or Goog or Google. Anyway, Sundar Pichai in the earnings call, he's the CEO of Google, and he basically talks about their deeper investments into hardware and that they're going to start bearing fruit sometime next year. 2021. The third part of this video is why now? Why is Google making their Whitechapel processor available now? Well, obviously, Apple A14 is out in 2020, and this year, their Geekbench on their 5 nanometer processor is 1,500 on a single core and about 4,000 on a multi core. If you compare that to the Snapdragon, 888 recently called the Snapdragon 875. It has a single core score on the Samsung Galaxy S21, which will launch next month of only about 1075 and a multi core score of about 2900. Granted, these are early benchmarks, but they still indicate that there is at least a 50% difference between the Apple A14 of 2020 and the Snapdragon 888 of 2021 which means it leaves the door wide open for Exynos. Actually, regarding that Exynos bit, we have a leaked Geekbench and it says on power saving mode, the Exynos 2100 has a single core score of about 1100 and a multi core score of about 3000. Now, I'm not sure whether this is going to actually happen. Best case scenario, the Exynos 2100 is round about as powerful as the Snapdragon 888. Worst case scenario, we're exactly where we are right now. The Exynos 2100 is half a generation behind. Therefore, all eyes are turned onto Whitechapel. Google's Whitechapel processor is definitely going to come out in 2021, and it looks like it is the last hope for Android smartphone processors. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments down below. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video, and I will see you guys in the next episode.